Hey guys, this is Puddin. I was wanting to give you guys a uh, a video of our new 3D printer. Um, it's going to be the largest 3D printer, well, home-based 3D printer I have ever actually seen myself. Um, we're getting towards the end of it. Let me back up. As you can see, it's about six and a half feet tall, a little bit, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, it's got a print area of one cubic meter. Uh, you know, so essentially a three foot by three foot by three foot in all directions. And there is most certainly probably going to be some technical difficulties that come along with that. Uh, perhaps the plastic cools too much before it can make its way around. That's hard to say until we start getting this thing up and going. We kind of have to work out the kinks. Um, like I said, we're most of the way done. Uh, I've got a lot of wiring left here still to do on the extruder. Um, got some wires ran. The most of the wires from this gantry and the extruder here is going to come up and over to this spool holder, which then has uh, wire screws, and the wires will come down and underneath here. Uh, you'll have to excuse all the junk on the table uh, while I'm building it. This is kind of the work table essentially. Um, this uses 1.75 at the moment, uh, ABS. We are looking at maybe changing the extruder out or having more than one print head so that way we can load more rolls onto here. Um, but let me give you the basics on how this is going to end up working. Uh, we have, it's a belt driven system, as you can see here. It all ran off of NEMA 17s. Uh, all of these rails cannot remember for the life of me of what they're called, V-groove rails, I, I believe. Uh, all, all these rails, these plates, bearings, uh, and all of that was ordered off of a site called Open Builds. Um, it was an okay experience shopping at Open Builds. Um, I mean, the first order we placed, which was about an $800 order, uh, took three weeks to ship and we, we kept messaging them wondering, you know, hey, what's going on? Are you guys going to ship this out? And they never bothered to message us back. Eventually, about three weeks later, we checked on their website and it showed us shipped and it showed up a few days later. Um, the Z-axis runs off of a pair of acne rods that goes through a nut bolted onto this outer plate here. Uh, all of the bearings and stuff right in these grooves on these rails. That includes these down here, in which case if you see has another belt fed system and it goes up inside the rail over that bearing around the motor. So as the motor turns, it pulls on this grooved belt. It's got grooves on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but um, the belt comes all the way to the end here and is screwed in. I can't get it to focus, but it's screwed in here. Um, as you can see in the underneath, uh, the way that we're gonna heat this table, we got four of these heat plates here. Um, and they're gonna be stuck up on the four corners of this table. And uh, we got two power supplies, one just for the heat beds and one to run the computer and motors. Uh, for the computer, uh, we are running a Ramps 1.4 kit. I am not sure it's going to be up to snuff for this table, but I read a lot of good reviews on it, so we will see. Um, here, I'm making the brackets uh, out of the sheet of aluminum for those heat beds down there. Um, I mean, we still got a fair bit of work to do. Probably got another good solid 20 hours worth of work to put into this before it can even start doing a test print. That's not to include, you know, any aligning issues that we may have or leveling issues because I'm sure I didn't cut these legs straight. And as you can tell, if, you, if I step back, the x-axis is slightly tilted. It goes up. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of little things that's going to end up having to be done. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a preview uh, of what we're working on before I start uh, a new video series I'm having coming out. Um, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys later.